Hello everyone, the procedural fluid simulator for Geometry Notes version 2.2 is released with many new features, updates and fixes. So let's get start. The first and very important update is that all the nodes of the fluid simulator have the proper icons. Now it is much easy to recognize the node and to add that into the scene or to the node setup. Now all the fluid simulators have their own categories, for example, fluid simulator for the curve then for the grid and mesh then you have the forces and utility nodes so now you can easily use this as assets like as a modifier or as object to add this as assets first you have to define the fluid simulator folder as sl library when you download this preset from the blender market from my gumroad page or from my patron page you will get this zip file so when you unzip this file you will get all these different uh, folders and the documentation file so these folders for different blender versions you have to assign the specific folder as a sl library in the blender preference so if we go to the blender preference here i have assigned this folder as sl library in blender 4.3 okay so when you do that then you will get all these nodes inside the uh, asset browser addition to this update i have also rewritten the documentation now it is a single file and much easy to follow so i highly recommend you check out this documentation while working with this uh, fluid simulator preset okay now let's talk about the updates and features that are added to the fluid solver node the particle vector node and other utility nodes as i said you can use this as a modifier or as a object so if uh, there is already object in your scene you can directly apply this modifier to the object otherwise you can add this object into the scene okay and let's switch this to geometry nodes so when you add the fluid simulator whether it is a park curve or grid or mesh you will get this a uh, standard uh, these nodes first you have the fluid solver node and then you have the particle add vector node okay now let's talk about the updates related to this solver nodes now you have the six panels uh, for the fluid solver node so let's start from the initialization so in the initialization most of the settings are the same uh, some of the settings are newly added the first thing is that the similar settings are grouped together into different sections like these are the simulation settings like start frame and frame and then the time step these are the solver settings and after that you have the boundary setting and the initialization for the color a vector and velocity okay and this thing is done for all different sections for the internals then for the external and other sections okay so now it is much easy to follow the uh, settings in the initialization settings i have rewritten the exact solver which is based on the actual fluid physics now it is much faster and accurate as compared to the previous version the fast mode for pressure calculation is now more accurate and work for really complex meshes and with this you can also use the smooth option that is available in the internal settings for the velocity and pressure to minimize uh, some unwanted uh, instabilities of the fluid in the boundary settings now you have a new option use default boundary if you don't have assigned any boundary to the open edges of the mesh uh, you can use this option it will procedurally generate uh, the boundary for the open edges of the mesh okay for the initialization color now you have new option enable advect color so you can enable or disable the advection of the color so along with the color now you can also advect your own custom vectors with the fluid for example the uv maps and this is the initial uh, velocity of the fluid and then you have the keep original geometry basically it will output the original geometry as a fluid geometry then you have the internal settings the damp factor is renamed as viscosity now it is much more clear to new users because damp factor for fluid is a bit confusing the velocity max is basically the cfl number which define the maximum velocity of the fluid uh, you may be familiar with this if you have used fluid simulation of blender then you have the smooth option for the velocity and pressure so these option allow to smooth uh, these parameter to minimize unwanted instability in the fluid so that may be due to some sharp corners or due to a uh, very complex non-uniform topology and next is the vorticity so there was a bug in the vorticity now it is fixed and this vorticity is more accurate so you can create really nice vortices inside the uh, fluid using this option 
Glute simulator for mesh, you have a two option for the vorticity, fast, and exact mode. So this will uh, save some times when you don't need that accuracy regarding the vorticity. Okay. Next is the color fadeness. So you can fade the color of the fluid into a specific color. So this is really useful when you want to fade out the trail of some object in the fluid, for example, a boat. Okay. Then you have the external settings and these settings are some grouped together into different sections. You have the color, then you have velocity and the forces. Now let's talk about the new features that are added to the solver node. The first is the collision. So previously you used the collision force node to add the external object collision uh, for the fluid. Now you have this inbuilt option. So this is much easier, uh, especially for the new users that are not familiar with the nodes. And it is more accurate than using the collision force node. Okay. So for this, you have to first enable the collision and then you have to specify the collection that contain the geometry for the collision or you can add the geometry here. If the geometry is animated, like in this case, this cube is animating, you can add the velocity from that cube to the fluid with this scale. And this can be negative or positive and the interaction uh, with the fluid can be based on the proximity of the object or you can use the proximity plus volume option so in this case uh, we are using the proximity plus volume option okay keep in mind that these uh, inputs are field based so you can define the animation for only specific object if there are multiple objects in the collection some are moving some are not moving so that will help you save some performance and also the baking time and next feature is the displays now you can displace the fluid based on it is color velocity and pressure so if we enable this see we are displacing the fluid based on it is color You can also displace that based on, on the velocity of the fluid and you can also displace that based on the pressure okay so this is really handy to create really nice dissolving transitions by using the fluid motion and if you are familiar with the nodes you can use a bit advanced option so first you can like bake the fluid simulation suppose you are happy with this fluid motion and after that you can do many iterations for the displacement you can add the dedicated node that is the fluid displace so you can add that here to displace the geometry instead of using this option okay so in this way you can easily iterate over the displacement instead of uh, recalculating the fluid motions you just have to uh, bake the fluid so this will save a lot of time and the last is the material settings so you can define the shading of the geometry then the selection for the material and here you can input the material now all the controls are in the single nodes however if you are advanced user you can use other utility nodes uh, to do really complex uh, effects with this preset now let's talk about the particle vector node i have reworked this particle vector node now it is in general means it works for fluid simulator for mesh for grid and for car okay if you want to advect the particles with the fluid you can easily add the particles just uh, enable the particles inside this particle settings see we have these particles and if we run this see they are advecting with the fluid now suppose you don't want this fluid geometry you can easily hide that so it will not show up in your render okay then you have a new option for the emission you have the fixed amount of particles that will be added at the start frame of the simulation or you can continuously add the particles if you enable this and let me increase this number around 100 See, it is continuously adding the particles. So you can create really nice uh, trails based on the particles or you can randomize the seat to add the particles on different locations with time. Okay. And addition to this, now you have also option for the life. 
you can define the life of the particles so when uh, they reach their uh, lifetime uh, they will be deleted okay next is the initialization settings which are similar to the initialization settings of the uh, fluid solver node so you can define the simulation settings and then you have option to project the particles onto the fluid uh, geometry and after that you have the initial colors you can set your own custom color or you can copy the color from the fluid okay then you have the internal settings in the internal setting you have the damp factor to basically slow down the motion of the particles then you have the surface force so this is new so this is important let me disable this option and enable the displays now we have displays of the fluids based on the color and you can see that the displacement is moving with the fluid motions so it's going to exert the force onto these particles you can define that force with this surface force option okay and after that you have the particle size basically you can set the particle size or you can animate this particle size because it is available in the internal setting while simulating the particles let me disable this and next is the external setting okay in the external setting you have the settings for the color and the for the forces so with this option you can reset the color of the particles using this option or you can get the color from the fluid okay with this option and then you have the force so this force allow you to basically add the external force to the particles like some wind is blowing off some particles to some shore or some kind of turbulence to the particles so you can add that after that you have the collision settings so there are two types of collisions one is the self collision basically particle particle collision so you can enable this option here you can define the strength and the distance or the distance between the particles or you can use their size uh, for the collision detection and this is the number of iterations and then you have the external collision like for example if you want the collision of these particles with this cube you can add that collection here or you can define the geometry so if i enable this option see it brings out on the particles that are inside the cube so if we run the simulation see there is no particle inside this cube next is the instance you can instance the icosphere onto the particles or you can instance the custom geometry onto the particles for example you want to scatter the some leaves onto the water surface or you can do that and there is option to add multiple types of instances uh, for these particles and then you have the option to offset these uh, particles along the uh, surface normal so let me do that see they are above the surface next you can define the rotation of the particles or you can align them along the surface normal then you have the scale or you can use the particle size as the scale and after that you have the material for the particles so these are the major updates and features that are added uh, to these solver nodes and the particle vector node now i will show you the updates and features that are added to the forces node and the utility nodes of the fluid simulators so these are the forces node so this is the central force node then you have the collision and then you have the fluid per force node to these two nodes i have added this fall off option you can add that to the strength of the force and it is also available as output so that you can use it further for other nodes for example you can control the strength of the next force uh, with this fall off and this fall off option is also available in the fluid collision force node the fluid collision force node now supports the collection option okay and the next is the utility nodes so these are the utility nodes for the fluid simulators you have these materials for the fluid and for the particles and then you have these uh, new nodes so let me bring this out i have reworked this fluid velocity from the collider node now it has this fall off option as well as it supports the collection in addition to this there is a, another similar node that provide the color uh, from the collider so you can get the color from the collider and it also has this follow-up option and the collection option 
now suppose uh, your collider don't have any color so you can set that with this node that will set the color of the collider you can use this as a node or you can use that as a modifier see i have added this as a modifier and next is the fluid displace node that will displace the fluid geometry based on the fluid color velocity pressure and any other custom field next is the fluid geometry file of node so this is the dedicated file of node for the fluid simulators it provides the file of based on the curve geometry or the mesh geometry and the next is the fluid info node this node provides all the important attributes of the fluid as well as for the particles that you can utilize in the geometry nodes or you can utilize while building the material for the fluid or for the particles and this is the fluid velocity from the noise so these are the major updates and features that are added to the fluid simulator version 2.2 if you have any query or doubt, you can ask me on my Discord or you can ask me on my Patreon page. Along with this preset, I have also provided uh, the project files. You can get this preset from the Blender Market, from my Gumroad page or from my Patreon page. I hope you like this update. If you make really cool with this preset, then please let me know. I'll be happy to share your work. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Happy nodding. Bye.